Well, good evening, everybody. This is Gloria Harlow Drummond. I want to welcome you all to my channel. You're always welcome to my channel. And uh, first of all, I want to do the Lord's Prayer, okay? And our Father, who art in, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. But lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen and amen. Okay. First of all, I wanted to let everybody know that um, we lost one of our, our kittens this morning. They're outside cats, but we've lost two that way. Um, it was found, somebody ran over it, and uh, the sweet, it was a sweet kitten. Sweet kitten. Um, okay, now I want you to stay with me. Okay, um, I may I may do two videos because I've got some very important ver verses to read, and so the Lord, I feel that He wants me to read. Okay, he wants me to read in First Corinthians. Well, it's chapter two, verses five through sixteen, but I'm going to read um, verse. 26 through 31 of chap of 1 Corinthians chapter 1. This is very important. This is very important. So I'm going to read. I'm going to start reading from verse 26 of uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 1. Okay. Okay. So I love you. God bless one one and all. All right. Okay. For ye see your calling, brethren. How that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble, are called. 27. But God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise, and God hath chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are, which are mighty, which are mighty. And base things of the world, and things which are despised, hath God chosen, yea, and things which are not, to bring to not things that are. 29 that no flesh should glory in his presence. But of him are ye in Christ Jesus, who of God is made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption, that according as it is written, he that glorieth, let him glory in the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Okay. That's what it means. See, when he gives me verses to read, he wants me to read them. He wants me to read them. Okay, now then, chapter 2. Uh, verses, okay, uh, chapter 2, verse 5 through 16, okay, I'm going to read them, I'm going to, I'm going to start with, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to just read, chap I'm just going to read verse 1, now, stay with me people, stay with me, and I don't want you to get bored or anything, this is important. This is important, important scriptures that Lord, the Lord wants me to read. Okay. All right. And I, brethren, this is wisdom in God's gift. And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of God. For I determined not to know anything among you, save Jesus Christ and him crucified. And, as I, and, and I was with you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the spirit of, the, of power, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Amen. Howbeit we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world that come to naught. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom, which God ordained before the world unto our glory which none of the princes of this world knew, for they had known it. If they had known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. I hath not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. Amen. But God hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit, for the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the Spirit of man which is in him? Even so the things of God knoweth no man but the Spirit of God. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom, wisdom teacheth, 
but with the Holy Ghost teaching, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. Spiritual things with spiritual. Okay. Now then, verse 14. Verse 14. Stay with me, people. Stay with me. Okay. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. Yes. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things, yet he himself is judged of no man. For who hath known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. We have the mind of Christ. So that's what I wanted to read, or I should say the Lord wanted me to read tonight. And then we're only up to... Uh, not quite six minutes so we are supposed to open up our hearts open up our minds and let the Holy Spirit work let the Holy Spirit work and we that are Christians that love the Lord we want we should want everything that the Lord Everything is free. All the, the gifts and everything that are of God, that they're from God, and they are free to those of us who ask. And so many people, there's, there are just so many people that rely on their own wisdom rather than the Holy Spirit, letting the Holy Spirit lead. I mean, I could get on here and talk for an hour about so many things that I've learned just just this last couple two or three days that I've learned you know like I said it's like it's like a little voice speaking to me in my in my heart in my heart you know so um, my sermon my sermon tonight is giving wisdom getting wisdom from the Lord and not ourselves you know to totally rely upon Jesus totally rely upon the Holy Spirit you know in all in, in all of our actions in all of our actions the way we speak and you know the way we the way we talk to other people in other words the way the way that we act and like I said before let our light shine and let Jesus be our our guiding light to, for other people to see other people to see his light through us that's true that's very very true I'm not going to make this a really really long video I don't think um, and I'm going to do another video here, here after a while now the, two, the, the other video I did last night with the music the first video didn't didn't turn out real good I kind of winged it but, but the second song um turned out good on that one but I haven't been very very good today I mean I haven't since we lost our kitten this morning that was terrible and that was uh, Frida she was the runt of the bunch you know too and we, we that happened with another litter that our outside mama mama cat that happened with her too and I told the family I was going to put an ad in the paper and find homes for the other two they stay in the yard, and we have a fenced-in yard. They do stay in the yard, but, um, you know, I can't have my, you know, the cats being, get, get run over by stupid drivers, you know, careless, I should say, careless drivers that go speeding down this street. It just, it just kills me, you know, because I'm, I'm an animal lover. I love animals. I love cats and dogs. You know, I've always had dogs, and I've had a few cats through the years. But anyway, um, like I say, I'm just not quite with it. You know, just, I've been kind of sad all day. I've been sad all day. And the reason why we don't have them in the house is because my little chihuahua, Serenity, Cece, she doesn't like cats at all because she wasn't raised with them. And I wanted to show you another, I wanted to show you another gift. I wanted to show you something else. This is silver. Like my other one, a little bit similar to my other one. The chain is a lot bigger. It's very pretty. It's very pretty too. This is who and what I represent. My Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. 
So please pray, pray for me, my family, and I too. Okay, as I as I pray for all of you. Like I said before, some videos I do might be better than others, but it's all for the same thing. It's to glorify my Lord. And you know, I'm just like I said before. I'm just me. I'm just me. Just a little like an old country girl. What you see is what you get, you know, and the Lord works through me. I've opened up my mind and my heart completely to the Lord and to the Lord's will, not my will, but the Lord's will. So on that note, I'm going to get ready to sign this video off, I think. And again, welcome to my channel. You're always welcome to my channel. So I'll do another video here after here after bed. It's about 10 minutes till 9. I made you another one. I'm not going to promise. I don't know yet. I'm kind of tired from being sad today and the tears too, of course. So, um, until, until maybe later, okay? This is August the 23rd of 2015. The time is about 8.50, 10 minutes till 9 p.m. And God bless you all, one and all. I love you all. God loves you. And Holy Spirit, Thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, Thou art welcome in this place. An impotent Father of mercy and grace thou art welcome in this place thou art welcome in this place i love you all i should do a video sometime about our pets about our pets i need to find scriptures concerning the death of our pets my daddy always said that when pets die you know they go back to the dust they don't have a soul but I, I don't know we need to find scriptures on the loss of our pets outside or inside you know the love is, is all the same we love them you know and it's very sad because the Lord put these animals here on earth for us to love you know and they're very loyal very loyal to us that's true and my dear friend too also lost his his cat um, the same day that we lost our beagle we lost our beagle three years ago on the 20th of August and he lost his cat he even, he even named it cat K-A-T he lost his cat on the 20th and so he's lost a lot so please, again please play Please pray for my, my dear friend. His name is Bob. Please pray for him. Okay, well, I love you all, so. Bye-bye for now. Okay, to my next video. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. Love you.